If you're in need of some cozy and relaxing Christmas cleaning motivation, or you just need a friend to hang out with and get things done during this busy holiday season, I'm here for you. I'm your girl. There's also going to be two chances to win $100 in PayPal cash in today's video. And before you get confused, I did not move again. We are going back in time for some serious deep cleaning, decluttering, Christmas decorating. I thought it would be fun to kind of go back and show you ways I've decorated in the past just to give you a little bit of cozy and relaxing Christmas cleaning motivation. We're gonna be decorating for Christmas over the years in two houses, my parents' house and our old house over the years. So I'm ultimately combining multiple videos from the past in one super long motivating video. I'll be sharing all of the Christmas decorating over the years top cleaning tools, tricks, tips, and hacks that just get the job done and make cleaning easier for you. I'll be carpet cleaning, decluttering, cleaning up after Christmas, multiple years of decorating, Christmas recipes, and so much more. Like I said, there's gonna be two chances to win $100, and this is open internationally. I will have all of the details for you here soon when the video starts. I just thought it would be fun to go back, see how I cleaned and decorated in the old house, reminisce with me if you're new here these videos are from my old house so it's kind of fun to go back brings back a lot of memories and i just want to be able to get it done with you guys put me on your tv your tablet your phone get a lot done bake for christmas declutter clean whatever you need to do i'm your i'm your girl we're gonna get it done together so i don't want to make this a treasure hunt the giveaway this giveaway question is in the video that I'm wearing a red red striped pajamas. There's only one video I'm wearing red striped pajana, pajamas. It's later on in the marathon. And I just truly wanna thank you for being here and being such a bright spot in my life. I know I say this a lot, but you mean the world to me. This community means the world to me and I would not be here if it wasn't for you. So I encourage you to put me on your TV, your phone, your tablet and let it play and then you can enter the giveaway later on make sure you watch until the end because at the end i added in some after christmas cleaning cleanups and man let me tell you those are some satisfying videos to watch when my kids were little like super little and we had all of those toys the house was much messier wait till you see the dramatic transformation of the house after Christmas morning. They are so satisfying to watch. This giveaway is open internationally and there will be two chances to win $100 in PayPal cash. All you have to do is enter the question. All you have to do to enter is answer the question. Again, I'm wearing red striped pajamas. Be subscribed to my YouTube channel and have the notifications turned on. More details later. You're gonna see me clean my whole house, all three floors throughout my house cleaning, I think, three days maybe three or four days i'm going to be cleaning up some everyday messes that we deal with um, but just getting my house ready for the holiday season ultimately this was night one and it was just one of those nights our house was a disaster as you can see and i wanted to clean everything up before decorating the next next day i kind of wanted like a clean slate before i decorated so this will be filmed over a, at least a couple of days and i'm also going to be sharing with you two of our favorite christmas morning recipes so i hope this video gives you all of the uh, the holiday motivation all of the holiday feels that you're looking for So I want to introduce myself in case you're new. I'm Jamie, which I'm sure that's pretty obvious. I have three daughters, twin two and a half year olds at, named Addison and Emery, and then a six and a half year old named Avery. I am married to Mike. He is a financial analyst and we have been together for a really long time. Um, we are high school sweethearts and we are truly partners in our life, just trying to juggle the craziness of life with three young kids. But 
Either way, I'm glad you're here. No matter if you've been around for a while, if you're brand new, I'm just glad that you're a part of the Jamie's Journey community. I want to be that friend for you. I want to be that person that grabs your hand and walks along with you as we're cleaning or organizing at our homes. You know, sometimes we just need that person, you know, to, to go through stuff with each other. So I hope I can be that person for you. We're in this together. I'm here for you. And I always like to say, you guys are stronger than you realize. I think sometimes we need to, we need someone to tell us that. So here on my channel, as you're going to see, decorating is not really my forte. It's not my thing. I kind of keep things pretty simple, but that's what you're going to find here. I always like to decorate, but I like to keep things pretty simple. Like I kind of touched on earlier, um, if you're new, I don't love to decorate. If you've been around for a while, you know that. Um, it's kind of stressful. It takes a lot of energy out for me. So typically what I do with my uh, decorations is once I get it to the way I love it and I like I really love it, I just keep it like that. Like my fall decorations, I didn't really buy any new fall decorations this year because I think it was last year. I finally got all of my decorations the way I like. I just loved it and like I just... I don't, I don't like buying a lot of new stuff every single year. So honestly, I didn't buy any new decor Christmas decorations this year. What you're seeing here is all from last year. Some of it is still available and I'll talk about where I got everything, but a lot of it is, is not from, well, none of it's from this year. So I like to keep things pretty simple. I don't want to spend a lot of money on decorations because I know we will be in a new house next year. So I don't want to spend the money and I'm not going to force anything just because like there are some places I know need some new decorations um, or maybe something doesn't work in that space, but I'm not going to force it. I went shopping and I didn't find nothing spoke to me and so I'm just not going to force it. So I hope you enjoy the simple decorations that I have and it, it works perfect for our family. So you guys might be like, Jamie, didn't you just clean your living room carpets? And I did, but I did not clean this area, this little front room area. We call it the front room. I did not clean this because, um, well, I'm cleaning it because this is where our Christmas tree will go. So that's why I was cleaning it tonight. Um, but when I clean my carpet in my living room, so when we had our old couch, we had a love seat and a couch and it was just those two pieces. And I was able to take all of the furniture and toys from both rooms and put it on the hardwood floor and I would clean all of the carpet. But with our sectional, it's a lot bigger. And then now we have the coffee table and that console table against the wall. And there's just too much stuff um, that we cannot fit all on the hardwood and be able to walk back and forth and like get into the kitchen and go up the stairs. So now I have to break it up, unfortunately. So I honestly, the last two times I've cleaned the carpet in the living room, which I did it maybe a month ago. And the last time I did it, I think was in May or June. And then before then it was like the beginning or like last year. So I know it seems like I clean my carpets a lot more, but I, I've only done it twice. And I didn't clean either time, I didn't clean this front room. So I wanted to get that done before we put up our Christmas tree. It's all around us, Christmas. 
And then when I'm done with this, we are moving on to day two and Avery and I are going to decorate together the house together. Mike actually took the little girls, the twins down to the basement to play and kind of get out of our hair. So Avery and I could just have fun, um, spend time together and decorate. She really was excited to decorate and wanted to help me decorate. So I was excited to spend one-on-one -on -one quality time with her. Ready to decorate? Yeah! <laughs> To be 100% honest with you guys, um, I was not feeling it this day um, as far as decorating. Like I didn't, I had not planned on decorating. I guess that's what I should say. So I filmed this right before Thanksgiving. We wanted to leave the fall decorations up as long as we could before Thanksgiving. But then I wanted things decorated because we had a really busy weekend. The weekend, I mean, Thanksgiving's always busy right and then the weekend after we had three get-togethers like three party slash get-togethers and so I wanted it done right before Thanksgiving and I just had because we had those three get-togethers and Thanksgiving we had a lot on our plate and I was just this was a day I was not going to decorate and I was not in the mood at all like I was just like maybe feeling a little overwhelmed I felt like I had a lot that I needed to do and I was like all right we need to do something fun. I, I just wanted to stop like feeling overwhelmed. So I said, okay, Avery, let's decorate tonight because like we had no other plans. And so I blasted some Christmas music. We were dancing. Mike took the twins so Avery and I could just have fun and relax and just decorate. And it definitely improved my mood. I got these stockings from Target and like I said almost all of this stuff is from last year. So the stockings were from Target, the stocking name tags were from Etsy, the garland, the light up flocked garland was from Target, the reindeer was from Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago, and then the trees were from Home Goods. all of the stuff that was on the mantle. And then the tis the season to be jolly sign. I got that from Kirkland's last year, but it, I went in there the other day and it's still there. But that's pretty much it. I also have a wreath you'll see me put on our basement door. I got that from Target last year. Some of this stuff may still be available, but like I said, because I got it like at least last year or years before, um, I'm not really sure, so I apologize for that. But Avery and I ended up, we ended up going shopping after this. We just walked around like Hobby Lobby, Kirkland's, and Target. And I try to find like a small, like a few small pieces. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on decorations. I tried to find a few small pieces because there were some areas that I wasn't like 100% happy with, but nothing stood out to me. Like nothing called me out of all three of those stores. And like I said earlier, I'm not going to force something. If some, if like an area in my kitchen on my countertop isn't perfect, I'm not going to stress about it because I mean, it's my home, you know, like I'm not going to stress about it. I'm not going to waste my money and it's just Christmas. It's not like it's, you know, it's just for about a month. So, um, yeah. So sorry if you like something and you can't get it. Um, and maybe next year 
I can find some new decorations and fill in those holes. It's supposed to be making our Christmas memories. Oh, oh. La, 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 oh, oh. La, 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 oh, oh. La, 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 making our Christmas memories. I've been wrapping presents for you. I've been hanging marbles in the tree. And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies until the sun comes up so I was wiping things down with the Mrs. Myers Peppermint Spray, which I love the peppermint. I also love, it's in a blue one, Winter, I forget what it's called. It's the Mrs. Myers, and it's, uh, I t I'm like blanking on what it's called, but it's the blue um, bottle. That and the peppermint, peppermint are my favorite. Now, the Mrs. Myers Multi-Surface Spray, like I'm going to use it on my blinds. I use it on my countertops. It does leave streaks on my, count my granite countertops, but... The only way you're gonna see the streaks is if you like get down to eye level and really look and I mean, who's doing that? So it's all about my like how I'm feeling that day, like my mood. Do I want something with a strong scent like Mrs. Myers, which p picks off, puts off a, you know, a pretty strong scent, which I wanted tonight. Other times I'm like, I don't even care about a scent. Like I want my, my, um, my, countertop sparkling clean so I just switch up my cleaners based on like my mood how I'm feeling how dirty my countertops all of that but th this it does a good job of cleaning it just leaves streaks at least on my countertops baby this year it's just gonna be you and me Something that I've been thinking a lot about, you know, when Christmas rolls around, you start thinking of traditions and how like my family did things one way, Mike's family did things a different way, and you're like trying to combine all of them. So for example, growing up, we had three presents from Santa and then the rest were from mom and dad. Growing up for Mike, um, all of the presents were from Santa. He didn't get any from mom and dad. And then um, all of his presents were wrapped. And for us, all of the presents from Santa were not wrapped because they're made in the, the workshop. And so he doesn't wrap them. And so I just think it's interesting how families do things differently. So let me know, like, where do you stand as far as like presents? Are they like a mix from mom and dad or is it all from Santa? It, are they wrapped? Are they not wrapped? Yeah, let me know. I'm just, I'm really curious. Hey, did you pick out the decorations? What decorations did you pick out? This is mommy's. It says, Jamie, 1989, three and a half years. So I was a little bit younger than sissies. Who is this? So this was mommy. Who is it now? Me. Because Avery's a volleyball player. Avery was so excited to decorate her little pink tree. We got this for her last year. She was using all of the ornaments um, that like our parents gave us from when I was little. Like I was a volleyball player. So like there's this volleyball player and she wanted to use all of those like um, ornaments that have memories attached to them. 
and I actually might, I don't hold me to this. It might be in here, I don't know. I'm filming this the day before Thanksgiving and we actually do not decorate our Christmas tree until the night of Thanksgiving. But like I said earlier, we have a really, really busy weekend um, coming up. And so we are gonna decorate the tree on Thanksgiving night because that's kind of our, our tradition and it's something I want to stick to and I don't want to alter it just because I'm decorating the rest of my house. So in years past, you know, we have Thanksgiving on Thursday, which is a big busy day. And then Black Friday is always like relaxing and um, shopping online for Christmas. And then Saturday is always a big day because we are big Ohio State Buckeye fans and their biggest rival, the biggest game of the year. Um, we play Michigan. And so like there's a big rivalry every year we go to a party with our kids um like a lot of friends and their kids are there and stuff so like that game's at noon and we're pretty much there all day so usually thursday's a big long day with family and then saturday big long day with you know um friends and so friday is kind of nice to have like that buffer of like that relaxation day and stuff in between so in years past we used to decorate thanksgiving night and then all day on uh the Friday after Thanksgiving. Now I am way too tired to have Thanksgiving festivities all day on Thursday, decorate all day on Friday, and then, you know, be at like another party on Saturday. Like that's too much for me these days. So I think last year I decorated early, like mid-November, and it really wasn't for me. It was, it was too early for me personally. That's my personal opinion. Uh, I just, I don't like my Christmas decorations up for much more than a month. So I was decorating on a few days before Thanksgiving and then Thanksgiving night because I wanted to hold on to that tradition with our family. I might put up the camera. I'm not really gonna like film too much of it, but it's nice because I was actually going back and looking at some of my old videos, my Christmas clean and decorate videos and like the clips of the, the girls, oh my gosh. Like I'm so glad that I have some clips of them decorating the tree. So if I think about it, depending on like how we're feeling, I plan to put in some clips of our tree. If not, then you'll get to see the tree um, in my next video. So I hadn't planned on cleaning the basement. It really wasn't even that messy, but I told you guys that I really was not in a good mood at all this day. But once Avery and I got moving, it's kind of like working out. Um, and this had nothing to do with cleaning. I just wasn't in a good mood. But like, you know, with working out, it's like, you don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. You get dressed. You don't want to do it. And then once you get going, you start feeling good. Um, and then the more you do it, you're like, yeah, this feels really good. And that's kind of how I, I was feeling. Like once we decorated, it just felt good. I don't know if it was the cleaning part. It was the decorating part. It was probably a combination and just Avery and I having fun. My mood was l like lifted and I wanted to keep going. And I was just like, hey, I guess while I'm in this, like this mode, I might as well go down and clean the basement. Okay, so I know you guys are gonna be like, how do you get your Roomba, the iRobot Roomba robotic vacuum? How do you get it to do that? Go in lines. I don't do anything. I've never done anything. It's just what it does. It's a great vacuum for carpet. Highly recommend this one specifically for carpet. I think it's the Roomba 960, but it's linked in the description. 
also have these two recipes that I'm making. I will have them both linked in the description, but every Christmas morning we do cinnamon rolls. So I'll either just make cinnamon rolls or a cinnamon roll casso casserole. I feel like that's... <laughs> Anyways, a cinnamon roll casserole. That sounds funny. And then a breakfast casserole. So growing up, my mom always actually did both. And Mike's family always did cinnamon rolls. So it's kind of like combining our family traditions. And the breakfast casserole, I've never made this specific recipe. Usually it's, I make, I basically make the same thing, but I use bread instead, instead of biscuits. But I, I thought the biscuits was like a fun change. So wanted to give it a try. Um, so it's just like biscuit, sausage, cheese, and then egg. You can obviously add onions or peppers or something like that, or bacon, ham, but Mike is super picky, so we keep it pretty simple around here. But like I said, I'll have the recipes linked below. As far as um, the cinnamon roll casserole, this one was really, really good. And both of these take five minutes to assemble, so you could totally do it the morning of, and then you just pop it in the oven. You know, I've never been that person. I hear a lot of people who love to cook. They're like, I love cooking and giving it to someone and having them love it. And like you, you get satisfaction knowing that you're making something that someone loves. For me, that does not give me satisfaction because I hate to cook. Like, like making something that, like even my kids, if they love something, like it's great. And it, I guess it makes me want to make it again, but I don't get a ton of satisfaction from that except on Christmas morning because it's such a special morning. I enjoy making these breakfasts different breakfast casseroles for my kids, for Mike, because he loves them. And it's always, like I said, it's also a way to kind of tie in our family traditions. Oh, and for the breakfast one, it called for pre-cooked sausage. I could not find pre-cooked sausage. They were all out of it at my grocery store. So I just got regular sausage. I had cooked it up ahead of time. So if you can't find, find pre-cooked sausage, which would make it even easier, you could always cook up your sausage a day or two before and keep it in the freezer or in the fridge. That way it's super easy to literally throw together. child got their hearts filled up with joy yes it's christmas all around all snow is falling down all the colored lights lighting up this town and as i walk outside so it is another day of cleaning. I told you it was going to take me a long time to clean my entire house. It's just never done in one day anymore. So here I was tackling the upstairs, our bedroom, the girls' bedroom, Avery's bedroom, um, and a bathroom. And oh, the laundry room. I forgot about that. But pretty much the whole upstairs. And I will tell you day three or what you're seeing here was actually filmed before we decorated and the reason for that was i wanted i had the time so this was on a monday avery was at school and i wanted her room to be clean before we put up her tree and so i had the time to clean upstairs the twins were also at school for a few hours so it gave me like i just had the the chance to do it so I did this ahead of time. So just throwing that out there because you'll see me clean her room and there's obviously not the tree in there. But then if you go back and you look at her decorating her tree, her room was already messy again, which is just, you know, it's, it's, it's how my life is. I clean, there's messes constantly. And I don't, I feel like Avery's room does drive me crazy. I feel like it's so messy. And I just decluttered a lot of her toys. She honestly does not have a lot of toys in here. It's basically just Barbies and some art stuff. But when I watch other cleaning videos and I see their kids' rooms, I'm like, why? Like, it almost looks like the rooms don't have anything in them. 
And I'm saying this from a perspective of like, I want Avery's room to look like that. Like sometimes I watch these, the cleaning videos of these kids' rooms and I'm like, it's like a bed and a dresser. I'm like, where are the toys? Where are all the little junky toys? I don't know. Like no matter how much I declutter Avery's room and I am ruth ruthless when I go in there, I get rid of so much but I feel like her room always looks messy to me and it drives me crazy. Um, I mean, it just drives me crazy in general. And then she's always just like hanging stuff up in like random places, but it's her room and she's a kid and I want her to have the room that she wants. But then I just, it's when I see other cleaning videos, sometimes I'm like, do their kids not just like draw and then tape? the pictures all over the wall like she hangs the most random stuff on the wall and it, I mean it's it makes me laugh and it's cute and I mean obviously I, I let her do it because it's her room but when I see other cleaning videos I'm like man I feel like my kids rooms look so bad um, compared to a lot of the kids rooms that I see on YouTube keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love Get all the Christmas songs that we love And then why we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a... I was wiping down the cr the twins' crib with cribs with hydrogen peroxide, if you're curious. Um, so I just got a bottle of hydrogen peroxide and then I got a spray bottle sprayer from like a, just a spray bottle that I have. And I put that on the hydrogen peroxide bottle. And the reason why I did this is because, well, everyone has been sick. I've been sick. Um, the twins have been sick and they have snotty, runny noses. Uh, you know how that goes. So I like to make for sure I'm wiping down their crib a lot when they're, especially when they're sick. And... I don't I mean they put their hands all over their cribs they put their hands in their mouth and all of that so i don't like i don't want to wipe it down with like clorox but i like using hydro hydrogen peroxide because it can kill germs but then it um, is also something that is safe to consume um, so that's why i was using it and if you were curious earlier I had turned on something in my room. It was a air purifier. So I have been meaning to get one of these because I've been so sick and it's allergies and cold. And I just like, we need cleaner air. Yes, we clean out our air filters. Um, we do all of that. But I was like, oh, I need an air filter and I just, or a purifier. I just have not prioritized it. And then finally, someone, one of you guys mentioned it. And I was like, yes, I have been meaning to get one. So I finally, stopped okay let's take the time jamie once she said that i was like yes i've been meaning to get one so i went on to walmart or amazon i forget and i finally ordered one um who knows if it makes a difference but it helps clean and purify the air which definitely cannot hurt with all with all of the allergies that we've been experiencing In case you're wondering, I was wiping down the vanity with my DIY cleaner, which is one part rubbing alcohol, one part water, and then I bought a um, and then about a fingernail size of Dawn dish soap. One part. Sometimes that confuses you guys. Like when I say one part, and it's because bottle sizes are different. Um, so it's you know the same amount of water put in the same amount of hydro or uh, isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol. Honestly, the ratio is not super important. Like if you don't get it exact, it's not a big deal. I just eyeball it, to be honest with you. The only one you have to be careful with is the Dawn dish soap. If you put too much, it, you're, when you spray it, it's going to get really soapy. So that's why I say like a fingernail size because you want it small, uh, but it, it's kind of hard to measure out. Just don't put too much.
Okay, so I was able to add in the footage from Thanksgiving night when we got together decorating our tree and it kind of makes me laugh. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate, but you know, you watch this clip and it's not like a super long clip of us decorating, but you're going to watch it and you're like, oh, beautiful memories and it looks really nice when it's a, you know, you're seeing this family decorating a Christmas tree as Christmas music is playing and it just looks so wonderful but if only you could be there in person to be 100% transparent it was a mess. We decorated on the night of Thanksgiving. It was the first time that the twins did not have a nap because we were at my grandma's and the time we had to eat it just did not work out. So we're like two and a half, you know, they're able to skip a nap. So we skip their nap and you guys, they were an absolute mess, an absolute wreck. When we got home, we start decorating the tree. There was so many tears, like so many tears. Mike is a huge Buffalo Bills fan. So he is dressed in his Buffalo Bills gear which they played the night of Thanksgiving. So if you're from Buffalo, you'll see his pants and you're like, yeah, totally understand those pants. Like, I guess they're pretty popular in Buffalo. But the kids were a mess, like literally all three kids. Too much fun, not enough sleep. There was a lot of tears. And then the top of the tree did not light up. And Mike could not find like the missing light or whatever it's a pre-lit tree so needless to say you get a little clip but it was a mess behind the scenes but you know what it was it's all good we're gonna try to get some lights to string around the tree um but yeah I just want to throw that out there because like when I added in the clip I'm like oh you could not hear the screaming the crying the fighting the tears but you know what? That's the holiday sometimes with young kids. There's a lot of highs and then there's a lot of lows because everyone is overstimulated, overwhelmed, and on a sugar high and not enough sleep. So either way, that's our Christmas. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. And if you are new here, hello, I'm Jamie and I hope you're ready to decorate for Christmas. I am at my parents' house. They built this house last winter. So I came over to help my mom decorate for Christmas this year. They didn't get to decorate last year because they weren't in this house. They moved in in March. So it was really exciting to get to decorate their new house this year. And I'm going to be sharing all of their decorations, the new decorations my mom bought this year how we decorated. Um, I'm going to give you a Christmas home tour at the end and I will also be doing some cleaning. So a lot of fun and a lot of Christmas cheer. So I hope you guys are ready. So if you're not familiar with where I'm at, I'm at my parents' house. 
I am helping my mom and my dad, well really, I guess my mom. My dad brought all of this stuff up from the basement. We are going to decorate. She doesn't really want to be on camera, so you're not gonna see her, but she is behind the scenes helping me decorate, telling me where she wants things to go, um, kind of putting things together. So we're gonna be decorating her house today and I'm really excited. So I hope you guys are excited too. I hope you're ready for Christmas and let's see Christmas take over their house. And when we're done, I will share with you guys a Christmas home tour. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna okay. dance, 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 Come on. dance. We're gonna dance, 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 have a good time. Dance, 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 all night long. We're gonna dance. I will try to have as much as I can linked down below in the description. So if you're wondering where something is from, check the description first. But there are some things that probably won't be linked. So if you're curious, you want to know where something is from, let me know in the comment section and I can try to find out from my mom where she bought it. But I pretty much went in and started pulling stuff down from their walls and um, I started out in the entryway and I was gonna clean the area and then start decorating. And my mom didn't want to be on camera. Neither of my parents want to be. So a lot of you have asked to see them, um, but neither of them want to be on camera camera but please know that they love your comments they read all of the comments that you guys leave and they are grateful for the sweet comments in every video that i film so um, my mom is kind of behind the scenes directing me where she wants things to go so it was a lot of fun decorating and she definitely has a little bit of a different style than i do so it's fun for me to learn how to decorate and step out of my comfort zone and decorate so she was kind of giving me some pointers So here on their mantle um, there that this is us sign would not come down. She used command strip Velcros um, strips to hang it and it was on there really, really good. And we didn't want to try pulling it down and ruining any anything like the wall. So we ended up putting the Merry Christmas sign over it. And even though we didn't perfectly cover it, we thought it was good enough and it still looks totally fine. Um, and we had used heavy duty tape on the back of the Merry Christmas sign. Like it was like special gorilla tape, I think is what it's called. Um, but we use that to put over the This Is Us sign. But it was really fun for me to be here today because my mom had taken the day off of work. She's actually a nurse and my dad is retired, but they were both there. We were all kind of working together and helping out. My dad was kind of doing all of the heavy lifting, pulling tubs out from the basement, helping us with things that were really high up that we couldn't reach. So he was like off in his own room the den and we just kept calling him back out to help us when we needed help it was actually a lot of fun but the plan was i was going to help my mom decorate this day and then avery was going to come back and decorate the tree another day when she was able to come but it's a little tradition that they have and it's fun for my parents and for avery My mom got the stockings and the wooden name tags from Etsy. I figured I would be asked about that, but I also have similar wood tags for my stockings, but they're a little bit of a different style. And if you guys are new to my channel, you just are coming and seeing this video. If you didn't watch my clean and decorate with me for Christmas, that when that video went up on Sunday on my channel. So I will have that linked below if you guys wanna go watch that when you're done watching this one. But my house, 
looks different. Obviously, it has a little bit of a different style. So if you're looking for more decoration ideas or inspiration, you can head on over there. It's so funny to me because what you guys are not seeing behind the scenes right here is me putting all of this stuff on the tray and I truly don't have an eye for decorating um, a tray like this. I can try, but it just is really not, I don't have an eye for it. So my mom does. And so she was behind the scenes directing me and telling me, trying to help me um, decorate. So I just kind of took the direction from her and I just love the way it turned out. I wish I had the ability to decorate things like this and throw it together, but I don't. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you. We just hung this. My mom got this like, where'd you get this from? Cottonwood Shanty. Cottonwood Shanty? Dot com. So she got this little scrolly. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. So we just hung this. It was like a team effort, me, my mom, and my dad. So we hung it and then she has some bells that she's gonna hang from there. Um, they didn't come in yet. So she's gonna hang some bells there. But I think it looks really good in their hallway. Close, forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Taking a little bit of a break for lunch. My mom is making me lunch. Isn't that what moms do? They're always taking care of their kids. So we're gonna eat lunch, but there is more decorating. We have a lot more decorating to do, and then I'll share the home tour with you. So stay tuned for that. Um, but my mom did decorate the table a little bit. I kind of let, let her just go ahead and do her thing. I was doing a few other things with my dad, but she did a pretty good job. I'll show you guys more in depth when I do the home tour. Um, but decorating is her thing, not my thing. So, um, I mean, as you guys can tell, her house is their house, their house. I always say her house, but it's like my mom decorated it. Their house is beautiful and it's my mom's happy place when she gets to decorate and I've said before how it's pretty overwhelming for me um, but my mom went ahead and decorated and she did a pretty good job if I do say so myself and I know there are some other things that she wants to add on the table and in the home um, but we were kind of running out of time and she's still waiting on a few items to come so hopefully I can have some pictures where I can show you guys more when she completes it all. So most of the decorating was pretty much done. Um, my mom has some more decorations coming, um, but most of the decoration decorating for the day was done. So I was gonna clean up. I wanted to pick up the kitchen, wipe things down, wipe down their appliances, vacuum, mop, and clean one of their bathrooms.
But something else really quickly that's really important to me when it comes to a vitamin a lot of you may not know um this is i guess a little bit more on the personal side but i have struggled with infertility and i've had multiple miscarriages we never really knew the issues for the multiple miscarriages but one key thing was when i was seeing my infertility doctor she wanted me to take a good quality prenatal vitamin that had methylfolate in it and not folic acid um, they are very close to the same, but folic acid is in most vitamins. You'll see it on the back of most vitamins that you get at the store because it's highly stable. And the issue is that once the folic acid enters a cell, it needs to be converted for your body to be able to use it. But the problem is, is up to one third of men and women have a genetic variation that doesn't allow their body to convert that folic acid to use it. So my doctor wanted me to use a vitamin with methylfolate um, in case my body had that genetic variation and wasn't converting the folic acid into folate. Are you guys with me here? I know I'm getting a little scientific for you, but folate is incredibly important in when you're trying to get pregnant and in the first couple months of pregnancy. So she had said, you need to be on a good quality prenatal vitamin with methylfolate. Um, ritual vitamins have methylfolate in them. So you don't even have to worry if your body has trouble converting it or not. I have no plans on getting pregnant anymore, but I want to make for sure that I'm putting good quality ingredients into my body, not ingredients that need to be converted, especially if there's an issue with my body converting it. But this is something I never would have known if I hadn't had those miscarriages. And it makes me look at my vitamins differently and more closely. house is coming together and my mom has a lot of stuff for outside so I'm thinking we'll see but you guys can let me know in the comment section if you want to see me help her decorate out on their front porch I did it for the fall I'll have that video linked down below but let me know if you guys want to see a fall or a Christmas front porch decoration and my mom also has more decorations coming to her house but they weren't here in time so I could kind of add that stuff into that video so if you guys want to see that let me know but it's just really cool to see their house come together they built this house they moved in in march early march so they didn't get to decorate for christmas last year so this is all kind of new um which is exciting to try to piece all your old christmas decorations new christmas decorations together and see it all come together go outside the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun the snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the christmas songs that we love Get all the Christmas. I would love for you guys to come over, find me on Instagram. It's Jamie Lynn's with an S dot journey. I also will have it linked in the description, but you can come over, find me over there. It's not just cleaning. It's more of my personal life, my kids, my kids being crazy, the twins making messes, all of that. So come over and find me. And if you do, make sure you say hi. Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe Baby with you Ooh. I'm Making plans What we're gonna do I feel so blessed That I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for you yeah, I just wanna hold you close You know the stars Are shining just for you Let's take a walk we can follow the moon like till we reach a place we could stay maybe kiss a bit and dream away and in a while we're gonna go and see
inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. I think I mentioned this in my clean and decorate with me video, but in years past, we have always decorated the night of Thanksgiving and then a little bit on the Friday after Thanksgiving, Black Friday. Um, but we decorated a little bit earlier this year just because Avery was begging us to decorate. I think just being a little bit older this year, she fully understands Christmas and she was begging us to decorate early. So we did. And honestly, I don't think I would have known this if it wasn't for us decorating early, but I love it because in years past, we would always have, we hosted Thanksgiving, so we'd have our big extended family coming over on Thanksgiving. They would be here all day. Everyone leaves. There's a lot of cleaning and you guys know how it goes. So we would be exhausted, but we'd be excited. So we'd pull all the stuff out and start decorating. And then also we are big college football fans. We um, are big Ohio State Buckeye football fans. They always play their rival, Michigan, on the Saturday after Thanksgiving. So we, every single year, it's like a big thing. Everyone goes to an Ohio State, Michigan party. And so what we would be doing is on Thanksgiving night, like rushing to get decorations up. We would be exhausted on the Friday after Thanksgiving, but we're still trying to decorate. And now looking back, I'm like, if we start decorating earlier, the kids love it. And then now we can like truly enjoy Thanksgiving, take it slower, relax on Black Friday and just enjoy that the Christmas decorations are up. So I'm already loving it. And I just think it was a great idea to decorate earlier this year. Me, the snow is falling down and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, Everything will be okay Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for me and you I longed for this moment To have you for myself In a cabin out of nowhere So we are done decorating and I am done cleaning so to round out this video, I'm gonna give you guys a little Christmas home tour of my parents' house. So this is the entryway when you walk in, big, long hallway. And we did not decorate in here. Um, my mom and dad have to put some stuff away in their laundry room, but this is where you go to the garage and then they have some closets and locker spaces, laundry room, which I'm hoping to organize and decorate eventually because I have that sign, which I love, um, but I think that'll be another project maybe in the new year. I have a bunch of my stuff over here. It's kind of a mess, but we're right off of the front door and this is their bathroom. How cute are these for the girls? Um, but okay, over here, I added those. Um, my mom has some other things. She actually had to run an errand. So she might come in and kind of redecorate this. Um, but I just kind of put those there and cleaned the bathroom. My girls were here last weekend. So I wanted to make for sure I got this bathroom cleaned because this is the bathroom that they use. All right, so we'll come back out this way and you'll see this is from the laundry room and garage area. My mom got, we hung this up, which there was nothing on this wall before. And then you come into the main area. And so when I was decorating, I should have a voiceover of where she got everything, if you guys are curious. We had a hard time hanging that sign, and as you'll see, we just added that front sign over the other sign. And you can kind of see it peeking out, but I still think it looks fine. The other sign is on there really, really, really good. And my parents didn't want to remove the original sign. So, I think it works, and it's a lot easier. The tree color needs to be fixed a little bit, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. We didn't decorate the tree because Avery always comes and decorates the tree with my mom, and she wasn't able to come today, so she's gonna come here soon, and they will 
decorate the tree and have a little bit of fun doing that. And I know she'll love doing that. And then over here, we have the couch for our little tray on the ottoman, and then we'll look into the kitchen. So like I said before, my mom decorated this. Those are just some boxes that she wrapped for decoration. Um, her flameless candles and then a bunch of stuff she threw together on the tray, nativity scene. And her <laughs> Santa apron. And she honestly doesn't have a ton here in the kitchen, but I know she wants to add some pops of color in here. But right now, I think she's still waiting on a few pieces, so she'll be adding that later. But right now, it smells and feels like Christmas in here. So I feel like I talk about this in every video when I'm here. But I know not all of you guys watch the videos or you may be new here, but my parents moved into this home last March. And so I came in and I organized their kitchen, which I'll have those videos linked down below. I organized the kitchen area for them, but they have more areas they want me to organize. And you know, I love to organize. So I'm kind of saving those for after the first of the year. I have so many organization projects I want to do at my home at here. So if you like decluttering and organizing, then make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you have the notifications on because there's a lot coming, I promise. So one of the areas is their pantry. So this is their pantry. It's a small pantry, which I think is good because I have a bigger, I mean, it's not, my pantry's not huge, but it's a bigger pantry. And so some of you guys, if you have a smaller pantry or if you don't have a pantry and you're working with cupboard space, maybe this could help. So I wanna organize their pantry. I wanna organize their fridge and their freezer, which is nice because it's different than mine. I have the side by side. Um, they have their freezer down here and then fridge right here. So I wanna organize that. And then they have a master, of course they have a master bath. And then they have a master bathroom that needs organized and then their laundry room. So laundry room doesn't need a ton of organization, but there's some decorating we wanna do, organization. So a lot of fun projects coming up and I cannot wait to share it all with you guys. But if you guys wanna see that, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section. This candle that I'm burning smells really good. Peppermint sugar cup peppermint sugar cookie. I think it's a perfect mix of peppermint, which I love because it always makes me think of the holidays, but then a little bit of sweetness. And it smells like Christmas in here and it feels like Christmas in here as well. How cute is this picture of Avery? This is one of my favorite pictures. I think she was the, nope, it was the year before. So she would have been about six months here. And it was around Christmas time, but there was an Ohio State game going on. And she was in a little cheerleading outfit and she looks so cute. Who do you guys think? Does she look like Addison or Emery here? Hmm? Addison or Emery? I think she definitely favors Emery. Um, but there are pieces when she got a little bit older where I can see bits of Addison but I think that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along to my parents' house and seeing me clean it. Let me know if you guys like seeing me clean a different space. You like seeing me clean my parents' house because obviously I can continue doing that, but if you especially like the decorations, like I said, my mom has more decorations coming and she has a front porch and it's still early, so I can do another clean and decorate me decorate with me if you guys want but you gotta let me know let me know by giving me a thumbs up that you like this video that you like seeing me clean here leave a comment below letting me know that you guys want to see that and i appreciate you guys for sticking around all the way to the end and i want to thank you <laughs> thank you for all of your sweet comments every time i come here and i clean or decorate you guys give me you guys give so many compliments to my parents and I want you to know that that means the world to me. Um, you know how it's like somebody could say something to you, but if someone says something nice or even mean about your family members, it hits harder. Um, so I think it goes both ways. Like you guys can compliment me on my house 
or how I am as a person. And of course, I love that. It means the world to me. Um, and I do appreciate it more than you guys realize. But when you say it about my parents and my family, it just, it means like triple the amount. So thank you for all of your sweet messages for my parents. They actually, they read every comment. They watch all of my videos. They're just, they're my biggest fans, my biggest supporters, and they read all of, the, all of your comments. So even though you don't get to see them on camera, I know you guys wanna see them. Even though you don't get to see them on camera, they are reading those comments so know that so thank you guys don't forget to check the link and use my coupon code for ritual vitamins get them delivered to your home one less thing you have to worry about and they're good quality vitamins so go check that out in the description and don't forget to check out my home clean and decorate which is already up on my channel um, I'll have that linked below but I guess let's get ready for the holidays <laughs> Hey guys, are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready to decorate for Christmas? I am and I have been for a while. So I have so much planned in this video, a lot of decorating, a lot of cleaning, some deep cleaning. You're gonna see some clips of the girls decorating with us, but we are going to transform my home into a Christmas wonderland. So I started out by just picking up the living room and kitchen and then I was going to pull all of the Christmas decorations out into the living room. Mike, my husband, had brought all of these up the night before from the basement storage area. So I wanted to pull all of them into the living room so I could take a look at what I had, take stock of it take a look at the new decorations that i bought this year so i will be sharing all of the new decorations that i bought and i wanted to lay it all out so i can kind of see where i wanted everything to go So I know a lot of people have been decorating a little early this year, not just people here on YouTube, but just in general. My husband, Mike, had mentioned to me that he noticed a lot more people have their trees up and lights up in our neighborhood already, you know, more so than in years past. And I think that just with the year that we've all had, we're looking for something to make us happy, something to look forward to. And it's funny because in years past, we always waited until after Thanksgiving to decorate. We used to host Thanksgiving in our home so I always wanted to keep the fall decorations up well we obviously are not having Thanksgiving this year but my parents also built a new house last winter so they want to start hosting Thanksgiving in years moving forward so now I can decorate for Christmas whenever I want to but by the way you're seeing this video on Sunday and then on Thursday you're going to see me decorating my parents home for Christmas so a lot more cleaning and Christmas decorating coming up here on my channel
but going back to what I was saying earlier, I know a lot of a lot of people are decorating earlier this year and even with everything going on like if you put that aside my almost six-year-old my oldest daughter she will be six in april um and then i have twins who will be two in march if you're new here but my five-year-old is just so excited for christmas this year she won't stop talking about it she's so excited she's excited to decorate early and so i think this is why we will be decorating early moving forward just because of the joy and the excitement in my kids' eyes Okay, so decorating, I got started in the kitchen and I kind of had a hard time decorating this tray. I kind of had envisioned a few different ideas and I was trying different options out before this day of decorating just so I could make sure I had everything that I needed to decorate. And even though a lot of the stuff that I tried before didn't really turn out, I was happy with how everything came together in the end. And I found the stem, the tall stems at Target, the red tree at Target, the little glittery deer from Hobby Lobby, and then I also got the greenery from Hobby Lobby. No one cares about I found this cute Santa sign from the Target dollar spot. It was $3. And so I printed off a picture from last year when the girls went to see Santa and I put it in there, which I think is perfect. But it's crazy because I'm sure we will be using this picture next year because I doubt the kids will be going to see Santa this year. But I'll try to link also with all of the decorating, I'll try to link everything down below if I can. But I also want to introduce myself. If you guys are new, I'm Jamie, obviously. I have three daughters, like I mentioned before, so they keep us pretty busy, especially the twins. They are at that crazy, crazy toddler stage, but it's fun, and I wouldn't have it any other way. And like I said, I have more Christmas videos planned here on my channel. Thursday, you'll see me decorate my parents' home, and then we might do an outside clean and decorate over there as well. Um, I also have a lot of organization videos planned for the new year, so I would love to have you guys subscribe and join my journey. And if you're new, definitely say hi in the comment section. I love reading all of your comments. They make my day and truly uplift me. So hopefully I can uplift and inspire you in some way, but know that you are comments uplift and inspire me. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to put over here and I ended up liking the cookie jar with the red Merry Christmas sign. The round Merry Christmas sign used to go on our basement door, which is where I put the wreath earlier, which that wreath was from Michael's by the way, but um, I loved that sign. I loved it. I loved it on the basement door, but I wanted some color in the kitchen this year. And I mentioned this before, I think, but in years past, I didn't put a lot of traditional red and green in the kitchen because we had dark cabinets. Our cabinets matched the floor. So I kind of kept it really neutral as possible. And even in the living room, I kept it neutral. But this year, since we have an all white kitchen, I wanted to add some color to the kitchen. So I put that wreath on the door instead. And I was trying to find a place for that sign, which if you hold on, you'll get to see where I ended up putting that sign.
go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me with the smile so I think the mantle is my favorite place to decorate for Christmas and last year I got this lighted flocked garland it's battery operated from Target so that was last year and then the reindeer I got from Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago and then these trees the the tall skinny trees I got from home goods last year and then we hang our stockings with command strips because they come off really easily they don't ruin the paint or the mantle and it just makes a good temporary stocking holder but like i said in years past i always kept all of the decorations pretty neutral to neutralize the dark kitchen so that's why the mantle is pretty neutral which i'll be honest with you i i really like i i love the white and the grays that's kind of my favorite and i'm also gonna give you guys an update here in a minute on our couch situation but our couch is going to be a light gray so i think it'll look really good if we get it before christmas plans what we're gonna do i feel so blessed that i can be with you because god knows that i've been longing for you i just want to hold you close you know the stars are shining just for you let's take a walk and we can follow the moon like till we reach a place we can stay maybe kiss a bit and dream away and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire so at this point i was trying to clean up the living room a little bit put away some of the fall decorations take a look at what christmas decorations i still had and where i wanted to put them i was just feeling a little frazzled at this point so i was trying to clear things up in the living room but you guys can kind of see some of my all of all year or year round decorations here um that i took out of the fall bins when i took when I decorated in August for fall, but it's gonna be so crazy when it comes time to decorate after the holidays because all of the decorations were from when we had our old kitchen because it got decorated in September when the fall decorations were up. So it will be kind of crazy to see the decorations in a white kitchen. So I'm probably gonna have to figure something out and see what still works and what doesn't work with our all white and bright kitchen. So I guess I'll be filming that sometime after the new year. Okay, so you might look at that red sign and think that it's too big for that piece of furniture that it's sitting on, but I plan on replacing that, the cube organizer, and making it an accent table that is much bigger. So I just didn't want to spend money on something smaller for this year. And then next year when I have a bigger accent table there, turn around and buy something new that was bigger and that would look better. So I didn't want to waste my money. So it might look a little bit big this year, but I'd rather save some money. Um, I got it from Kirkland's this year, um, and I figured it'll look much better next year, but I'll explain more about the updates I'm going to make here soon. So I promise there will be a lot more decorating coming up. I need to decorate um, two bathrooms, our master bedroom, Avery's room, and then we are going to put up the Christmas tree as a family. But before I moved on to decorating the half bath off of our kitchen um, and my bedroom, I wanted to scrub out my sink because it was kind of gross and it was really bothering me. So I just wanted to take care of that while I was down here. But make sure you guys stay tuned because we will be decorating with the kids and decorating our tree later. But we actually had to do it on a different day. So that will be a little bit later. But you'll get to see all of the kids and their excitement and their expressions when we light up the tree. So 
so in here i was just wiping everything down with some clorox wipes which i've been scoring lately at the store so i don't know if it's the supply is finally meeting the demand or what but every time i've gone to target which is usually about once a week i've been able to find clorox wipes so it's been kind of nice so I wanted to wipe everything down and then I decorated with just a candle that I got from Walmart, a little gold tree that I got from the Target dollar spot, and then my Mrs. Meyers peppermint soap. I was also planning on vacuuming the couch in the living room and then the stairs before moving to decorating upstairs and I was waiting for Mike to take all of those bins back downstairs for me. I always have him do the heavy lifting for me. In years past, I've always just decorated the living room and the kitchen, and I've never de decorated upstairs, but this year, Avery asked for a Christmas tree in her room, so we're going to hang some lights and um, put up a tree in there. And I just wanted to make the year special and more exciting for her, so we're going to decorate her room, and I thought I'd add a few touches, Christmas touches, to the bathroom that the girls share while I was up here, and I also thought I'd add a little bit to my bedroom as well. The kids are definitely excited um for the christmas season or i guess avery is and i'm i'm definitely more excited to watch her you know i think every year that goes on our kids are going to get more and more excited and as a parent watching your kids get excited about something and seeing that excitement and remembering what it was like to be a kid around christmas i just i want to make the holiday special for them and so i'm excited to decorate So to decorate here in the bedroom, I had already had that lighted garland from years past. So I just draped that over the headboard and then I bought some pillow covers. I think they were $9 for both of them from Amazon. The plaid ones are from Amazon. And then I found this cute Merry and Bright pillow from Walmart for less than $10. And I had originally envisioned to have it um, be on the Merry and the Bright side, but I kind of liked the, the stripe side. A little bit better even though i had two different patterns i like the stripe side better but if anything ever changes it's nice because i can flip it right around it's like a two-sided pillow
had ordered some candles from Bath & Body Works about a week ago, so I wanted to share what I got with you. I think fall and Christmas are my favorite times of the year to actually buy candles. Um, I, for Christmas, I really love the Twisted Peppermint and the Spice Apple Toddy and the Fresh Balsam. Those are like my go-tos. I think those are my favorites every year, but I also got... Um, peppermint sugar cookie this year and I love the mix of the peppermint and the sweetness of a cookie. I wish I could go back to Christmas is gone by and feel the glow and light. Down here to decorate this. At first I didn't think I was going to decorate in here because we're going to put the tree up here here in the front um, and I wasn't going to decorate this because and I feel like I talked about this in my fall clean and decorate with me but some things have gotten put on the back burner. So you guys know that we changed out our cabinets. So our cabinets got painted in September. It was actually supposed to be in mid-November, so like this time of the year, but they had someone cancel, so they moved us up, which I was looking at some of my everyday decor that I use like after the holidays are over, and it's gonna be so weird putting those decorations up and then redecorating because I've never had those decorations out with my white cabinets. But anyways, um, so we were supposed to get new furniture in September, new furniture. So we have a sectional coming. It's gray, a, like a light gray color. Um, so new sectional coming. It was supposed to be here in September. So when I decorated for fall, I had said that we were gonna get a coffee table. I was going to replace that right there. And then this, but we got a call the night before saying our furniture was not coming and they were estimating December. So right now I'm just not putting a lot of work into the couch over here and the end tables because the end tables will be gone we will not have the end tables i don't think we're gonna be able to even be able to keep that basket because we have a chase lounger that's gonna come out over there but anyways so i am waiting to update this and that until we have our new couch and then coffee table because i want to make for sure they all kind of flow well together if you guys know what i mean so I didn't want to buy decorations for in here when next year I'm going to have something lighter, much bigger, and I just felt like it would be a waste of decorations, but I was able to pull enough things together with what I already had, which is great. So I don't think it looks perfect and I don't love it, but I'm not going to go out and buy decorations this year and then next year have something completely different and want to put other things there. I feel like that would be a waste of money. So I know my house does not have to be perfect at all. So I feel like I may do. I'm happy enough with it. Um, I wasn't even going to put decorations there in the first place. I was going to leave it bare because I knew we'd have our tree right here. So anyways, just wanted to let you guys know that I do plan on switching that out, switching that out, and then yeah, coffee table. So more house updates coming hopefully after the first of the year because if we get our furniture in december like they say we should which who knows if we actually will i'm not crossing my fingers or holding out for it but even if we do i'm not going to worry about finding stuff before the end of the year it's just crazy end of the year already happened it already gets too crazy during the end of the year so i'm just going to go ahead and wait until after the first of the year when i get my normal everyday decorations out to make those update the more modern furniture pieces in here these are original when mike and i moved into our first house almost 10 years ago that's from these are from that so my tastes have changed the times have changed so i will be updating and i will be bringing you guys along so stay tuned for that Okay, so then I came back upstairs really quickly to clean the girls' bathroom and just add some peppermint soap, hand soap, and a colorful Christmas tree for them. And I, of course, was going to wipe down the vanity, and then I also needed to wipe out and clean the bathtub. But you'll get to see us decorating the tree here soon. Um, but to wipe out the bathtub, I used the Jaws Foaming Bathroom Cleaner, which is my favorite and absolute go-to when it comes to cleaning our showers and bathtubs.
I'll have my Instagram linked down below. You guys can come over and say hi and see more of my life, more of my kids. But yeah, if you guys have Instagram, come over and find me. It's really funny because obviously I'm decorating a little bit earlier this year, earlier than I have in years past, but when I was done decorating this year, I was thinking to myself and I really enjoyed it because typically what we do is decorate on the night of Thanksgiving and then finish up on Black Friday, but Thanksgiving is always a, a full day for us, you know, full of family, full of preparing food and cleaning up and it's just, it's a long day for us. Um, it's a good day, but a long day and then we're big college football fans big ohio state buckeye football fans and so they always play their the biggest rival michigan university of michigan on saturday um after thanksgiving so we would always rush to get everything done on thanksgiving night and then on black friday and just be exhausted but now that all of the christmas decorations are up we plan to decorate um one more tree in the basement and we are going to do that on thanksgiving night so we're still going to keep a bit of our tradition um and we're going to make hot chocolate and get in matching christmas pajam jammies i was going to say jammas <laughs> pajamas jammies and play christmas music and maybe watch a christmas movie and i think it's going to be more enjoyable like i think this whole time of the year will be a little bit slower we'll get to really focus on decorating and spending time together and so i really really like it i don't know if i would have noticed that if i wouldn't have decorated early so at the end of the first day of decorating i just wanted to vacuum and mop because there was a lot of flocked stuff and just stuff in general like you know when you're decorating things are falling off of the decoration so I wanted to go in and vacuum and mop our hardwood floor was actually really dirty I tried to show you guys some clips to show you how bad it was but of course you don't get to see all of the true dirt so I wanted to go in and mop and vacuum and then here in a minute you're gonna see the next day when we got to decorate with the kids yes these are the good times with you so it was the next night and we got the girls dressed in some christmas jammies and we were going to decorate the tree and as soon as mike pulled out the tree from the tree bag the twins climbed right in it was actually really cute and it was a lot of fun decorating but i'll be completely honest with you um it did not go as planned addison was super super cranky and whiny and clingy the entire time you will see me pretty much holding her the entire time we were decorating emery was in a really good mood but they were not really into the tree at all i thought they would be all about it thinking it was pretty with the lights but honestly they could care less and addison cried pretty much the whole time we were decorating i guess that's just what life is like when you have three small children and you will see addison tried to eat one of the bulbs so we will see how this tree thing goes this year um, with two 19 month old toddlers but either way avery had a lot of fun decorating she was really excited to put the star on the tree yeah it's just gonna be you and me It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night. That's my tree, and it's a pink tree. I think it's with white light, gold light, or rainbow light. Tomorrow it is Christmas. 
So this was actually the next morning after we had decorated our family Christmas tree because we had been waiting on this pink tree to come in the mail and it finally did and Avery was so excited. I just think it's perfect for a girl, young girl's room. Um, so we put it up in her room and I'm sure next year the twins are going to want their own pink tree but it was just perfect perfect height i love how it's pink so we set that up and then um she also wanted rainbow she calls them rainbow lights just the colored christmas lights she wants those on her bed so mike needed to pull some out from our our christmas bins in the basement so he was going to do that a little bit later but she's never gotten this excited about christmas in years past or wanted to decorate her own tree or put a tree in her room so it was a lot of fun for me to watch her get excited and help her decorate her room is this time is it ever since july i've been happier than i have ever been it's safe to say that my love for you is true tomorrow do you like your do you like your tree? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, huh? Mm -hmm. You're such a big girl because your sisters don't get a tree. No. Just you. Bad for my sisters. Yeah, they'll mess with it, huh? I'm lucky though. You are, because you're such a big girl. You're a, our big helper. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you guys had fun watching us decorate our trees. We still have one more tree we're gonna decorate on. Yeah. Thank it, it's like rainbow and we're putting it in our basement. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna put all of the fun ornaments, ornaments and, from years past. And, and we're gonna put rainbow lights on my bed, but the ones that I already have on my bed is silver. Yes, so we are going to decorate on Thanksgiving a tree in the basement, just to kind of keep up a little bit of our tradition. But I hope you guys had fun with us coming along and decorating. I hope you're excited for the holiday season. I'm definitely more excited this year for many reasons, but also because my kids are a little bit older and I think it's just gonna be fun spending and doing all of the fun things with them. So thank you guys for sticking around. There is more Christmas videos coming up here on my channel. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed and have the notifications turned on and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is probably a video that I have been waiting to do. I'm really excited. I'm so ready to decorate for Christmas. We have my girls. Avery's over here. We're gonna be cleaning. We're gonna be decorating. I'm really excited because I bought a lot of new decorations this year. Typically, I don't spend a lot of money on decorations just because, especially Christmas decorations because you don't have them up for that long. But I think I was feeling a little extra grateful and thankful and happy this year that I bought some new decorations. So I'm gonna be showing you everything I bought. I went to Kirkland's and Home Goods and Target. Um, and so I'm going to be showing you everything that I bought. We're going to be decorating. We're going to be cleaning. Yesterday was Thanksgiving and we hosted. So my house is not the cleanest. I have to, you know, really clean the floors. We had a lot of people in and out um, on our floors in the bathroom. So I'm going to be cleaning as well as decorating and just getting our house ready for the holidays. And we are so excited. If you guys are new here, I'm Jamie. I have three girls, so I am a girl mama. I have eight month old twins. This is Emery, this is Addison, and we have Avery who is four. And we are just so grateful to have these 
girls with us this year. Um, the past couple years have been a roller coaster, going through infertility, miscarriage, um, and a lot of ups and downs. I'm just feeling extra happy and thankful to have the girls with this year with me this year so stick around we're gonna go and we're gonna clean and decorate okay so i just had mike bring up everything from the basement so we have all of our decorations out and then avery helped me this morning earlier this morning pull out down all of the fall decorations so i have all of those that we need to put away new decorations a lot of stuff to get started. I gotta get moving. It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just I got started in the kitchen by clearing the countertops and putting things away. I needed to empty the dishwasher from the night before and typically when I'm decorating, I like to make for sure things are at least picked up and clean before I start decorating. It kind of gives me some motivation to get my house clean before I decorate because I know that when I'm done cleaning, I get to decorate and that's what I'm excited for. That's my motivation. If you guys are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Please let me know if you're new, introduce yourself down below, say something interesting about yourself, something unique something I can get to know you by. I truly love talking to you. So come say hi. I make videos twice a week and my goal is just to create a community where I can make you smile. Maybe provide an escape from your life. Life can be so hard and especially if you're a mom or maybe you have an a stressful job if i can provide an escape motivate you inspire you uplift you in any way that is truly my life goal so please think about subscribing hit the notification bell and come join my journey Me, hang by the fire and chill. isn't this how it is supposed to be making our christmas memories oh and i've been longing to hold you close forget about As soon as Avery heard Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas is You playing, she had to come in the kitchen and dance with me. And of course, when she started dancing, I had to dance right along with her. And that song has such a special meaning to me because when I was in high school, my husband Mike and I went to high school together. That's when we started dating. And I remember hearing that song and thinking that all I wanted for Christmas was him. And then when we were going through a a lot of our infertility struggles after our first mi miscarriage, second miscarriage. Just when we were in the thick of infertility, I remember thinking that all I wanted for Christmas was a child or another child. And so now when I hear that song, my heart just is absolutely filled to the top with joy. I am just so full of love because I truly have everything I could ever want and I'm so grateful for my life. Not to mention it's an amazing song and I just love Mariah Carey. Maze. If you stick around, I'm gonna go through and give you a little home tour and tell you where I got all of the Christmas decorations because a lot of them, like I said, I got this year. So if you like them, I will tell you where I got them from. Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about So while I was cleaning and decorating, I was also making two recipes. I guess one is a recipe, one is just cinnamon rolls, but they are two things that I make every Christmas morning. And I've 
kind of started making them on Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, just kind of as a tradition. So I was making that so we can enjoy it along with our cleaning and decorating. And Mike loves both of these recipes and Avery loves the cinnamon rolls. So I love making them happy. And even though I don't enjoy cooking, it's nice to make them happy. But but this breakfast bake is super simple. You just pop it in the oven. You don't ha have to add any veggies or anything. We don't. I would personally prefer like onion and green pepper, but the good part is you can literally add anything you want to it. But Mike does not like onions or green peppers, so I just keep it pretty simple for him. But I just layer bread on the bottom, then I put cheese, I cook sausage, and then add six eggs and a cup of milk. And I combine the eggs and the milk and then pour that over top of everything. And then I put it in the oven, 350 for an hour. And I make it on Christmas morning. And on Christmas morning, I use pre-cooked frozen sausage crumbles just for the sake of um, keeping it simple. But today I had the time, so I browned the sausage. Actually, Mike did it for me. And then we made the cinnamon rolls and it was just kind of a nice little break between the cleaning and the decorating. Let me know if you have any special recipes that you make either on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning. I'm just really curious and maybe we could try one of your recipes out. Yes, every time the snow is falling down. And it if you want to get to know me a little bit more, more on a personal level, I have created a get to know me playlist down below. It's some of my favorite videos. I think my all time favorite video was going to be my uh, twins birth vlog. So that is down below. And just if you're new here, you may want to get to know me a little bit more. So I created a list of videos you can check out. It's linked down below. If you're curious what I had in that spray bottle, it was just a cleaner I mix up myself. And I've talked about this so many times on my channel, but I always get questions about it. I love it, this cleaner. It's one fourth cup of rubbing alcohol, a teaspoon of Dawn dish soap, and the rest water in the water bottle. And I just love using it all over my house. I can use it to shine my stove. I can use it on my granite countertops. It's a disinfectant, it's safe, for so many different surfaces and I just love using it. is something really weird that I do but as I was packing everything away the fall decorations I start to think about what's life going to be like when I'm pulling these out the next time so late August early September and it's just crazy for me because the past couple years there's been you know our life just hasn't been complete and you know I remember thinking in previous years when we would pull out the Christmas stuff. It would be like, will I be pregnant next year? Will we have a baby? And then I remember last year thinking, like it was just really hard because I was pregnant to imagine having eight month old babies around. Like that was just something so hard for me to comprehend, but here we are and they're here and it's just, it's amazing. So as I was putting things away, I was thinking about what life will be like next year when the twins are a year and a half and probably on the move and doing all of the crazy things that toddlers do. But I don't know, just every year as we pull out decorations for a season or put them away, I always imagine what life is like. This giveaway is open internationally and it runs through December 14th at 11.59 Eastern Standard Time. I will announce the winner on Friday, December 15th, 2023. So this giveaway will run for two full weeks. I will announce the winner on my Jamie's Journey YouTube community tab on Friday, December 15th and on my Instagram, which is linked below in the description. I will first respond to the winner the winners, the both winning comments. So you should get a notification from that through your YouTube account. Please, please, 
put a reminder in your phone or calendar to check my YouTube community tab or Instagram on Friday, December 15th to see if you won. If you don't check notifications on YouTube, um, you know, if you don't check them, just make for sure you put that reminder in. The winner will have 24 hours to respond or I will have to move on and choose another winner. So thank you so much for being here and good luck. I really hate when winners don't respond. It has happened before. So please check on the 15th. The subscribe button is right under this video screen. And once you hit subscribe, it will show you a little bell to the left of the subscribe button. Just hit that bell and subscribe, hit that bell. That's all there is to it. Good luck. And here's the question. You just have to answer this question. Be subscribed, turn the bell notifications on. Okay, question is, since it's the Christmas season, what's your favorite Christmas song? Mine is Underneath the Tree by Kelly Clarkson and Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas by Frank Sinatra. There is seriously nothing that I love more than getting my house cleaned after we have, we've had a lot of people over. So like I said, I was doing this the day after Thanksgiving and because we hosted Thanksgiving, we had so many people in and out of our house and I just feel like everything just seems so dirty, especially the flooring. So it was just nice to get in here and clean everything up and really give my floors a good mopping when I know that there's been so many people in and out of the house. Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time done doing most of the decorating but I'm gonna take a little bit of a break before I finish up the cleaning to hang out with these crazy girls before they have to go down for their second nap of the day and then I'll finish up some more cleaning but I'm loving how everything is turning out 
It's like so hard when you're decorating because I have a hard time envisioning how everything is gonna get pulled together and I don't know, like it's just, that's the hardest part. It's like I can look at something, like if I look at pictures on Pinterest, I'm like, yes, I know I like that. That's my style. I love how that looks. But if I go to a store to pick individual pieces, it's harder for me. So it's just nice that with all of the decorations that I bought this year, and I'm where I had envisioned them going in my house. Just glad that I like how it's all falling together. Makes me happy, certainly, because this is not easy for me. I've talked about this before on my channel, but decorating does not come easy to me, and it's really hard. Um, so it just makes me feel good when I feel like things are gonna look good and then it turns out looking well because it doesn't always happen that way. What are you doing? Oh, goodbye Emery. So these, if you guys are curious what the girls are wearing and then Mike and I have matching um, pajamas, they are from Kohl's. I'll have them linked in the description. But the girls, they're wearing 12 months and they just got into nine month clothing. But I thought they looked like they would fit and they actually fit really good considering they're 12 months, just a little bit long. But then they're gonna be wearing them for a whole nother month, so I think it'll be good. But it's not the easiest to find family matching pajamas where there's baby clothing, like so under 12 months. So with the ones we got from Kohl's, it was 12 months, that was the smallest size. Um, I think Target had some that were for babies and then up through adult, but I wasn't a huge fan. So I was glad that they were close enough to be able to fit into 12 months. Is it nap time? Do we gotta go take a nap? Should we go take a nap? Oh yeah, that was a yawn, huh? All right, let's go take a nap. So we have Mike and Avery decorating the tree. Avery, are you decorating the tree? Yeah. So them decorating the tree. We'll get you guys down for a nap. They'll do the tree and mommy will finish up cleaning. Does that sound like a good plan? <laughs> Avery is decorating. Three bulbs on one branch. So normally, this is not how I would decorate, but I guess I'll let her do what she wants to do. Maybe I'll move it another time, but I've gotten to decorate the rest of the house the way I would like it. So even though this is not how I would decorate my tree and how I want my tree to look, I'll let her do it the way she wants. This is Avery's room. Dad put some lights up here on her bunk beds, right? Mm -hmm. Do you want to show him your tree too? And here's her Christmas tree. I can't wait for Santa to come. He's only going to come if you're going to be good, okay? I hadn't planned on decorating our room or really upstairs other than Avery's room because I think it's just so overwhelming for me to decorate. And I've talked about this before. I, I don't enjoy decorating. It's just so overwhelming for me. And so this year I was just focusing on the living room and the kitchen where we spend, you know, most of our time. So maybe next year I will kind of branch out and do more of our house. But right now I just wanted to focus on the downstairs. But I like when our room is picked up. It was bothering me that our bed was not made. And I just wanted to vacuum and kind of pull our room together while it was in the mode of cleaning. So that's what I did. But we're not decorating in our room. But maybe next year. So I guess stay tuned for Christmas 2020. I may have a clean and decorate up in my room or in the upstairs.
I was kind of hopping all around, which I, sometimes I do that. Sometimes I streamline my cre- my cleaning sessions. Like I'll start in one room and move around in like a circle or floor to floor. But today I feel like I was just hopping all around and there was really no rhyme or reason to how I was cleaning. But I guess one isn't right or wrong, but today I was just kind of hopping around. So again, I would love to have you guys subscribe. What you can expect from my channel here in the new year is a lot of cleaning, uh, decluttering, or organization. I have a lot of routines because I guess the new year is when I start reflecting on my routines and things that I can change and you know things I can start. So a lot more of all of that, as well as more babies as they grow. I will be vlogging. Just a lot of fun videos coming your way on my channel. So I would love to have you guys join my journey. Okay, so now that everything is decorated and I have everything up on the fireplace, I will quickly show you my home and all of my Christmas decorations. So obviously I didn't do too much down here. I just kept it pretty simple. This was from Kirkland's this year, this candle holder. And then I got this from the Target dollar spot. Um, I think it was like $3. Mike's upstairs with the baby, so don't worry. Um, over here, these Trees are from last year. I got this this year from Kirkland's. And then this year, I got all of these pretty bulbs from Target. And then we'll open up into the living room. Okay, over here, I've had these pillows from Kirkland's for a while. This Holly Jolly pillow is from Kirkland's. And then over here, okay. So I'm loving what I put together for the mantle. These two trees were from Home Goods and the lights, fairy lights for this one I got from Target. I need to get more fairy lights. The flocked garland I got from Target. That Merry Christmas sign I got from Hobby Lobby. Stockings were from Target and these tags I got from Etsy, which I just, it's, I just love seeing all of our names together. Oh, it makes my heart so full, guys. And then this tree over here, which ties in some of the color I have on the table and the centerpiece, I got this from Home Goods. And then coming into here, so over here I got the reindeer from Kirkland's, this sign from Kirkland's, and I still feel like I need to add something else in this vase, but I got those from Target. And then the tree over here, so I did not decorate it, I let Avery go for it. So my tree may not look beautiful and picturesque or Instagram worthy, but Avery decorated it, so it's perfect for our home. So we have some of our special ornaments. Okay, so this one was right after we miscarried Avery's twin. If you guys didn't know that, Avery was a twin. It says, 
although we never got to hold you in our arms we will hold you in our hearts forever our little angel september 2014 so that was for our first miscarriage um, and then just some of the other special ornaments that we have and baby makes three Oh, and I forgot, over here we have, I got this pillow from Amazon, but I know you can find it at Target and at Kohl's, and this blanket I've had for a while. I got this from Target, and this sign I got last year from Home Goods. Hey guys, I hope you're ready for a super extreme clean with me. It was the day after Christmas. My house was a disaster, a complete mess. So I was going to be cleaning up all of the toys, organizing, decluttering, pulling out appliances, deep cleaning under them, cleaning outdoor windows, and just doing it all. I'm going to be cleaning my whole house getting things back in order before the new year, and I hope you'll join me and get some things done together. So it was December 26th, the day after Christmas, and I woke up ready to go. But I'll admit to you guys, I actually did not wake up literally ready to go. I was kind of groggy. You guys know how it is when you're parents um, after the holidays. It's like a whirlwind. So I kind of woke up feeling a little groggy, but there's nothing more motivating than looking at your house and seeing how much of a disaster it is so we had a lot of fun on christmas we enjoyed our time as a family um and there's obviously evidence of how much fun we had and how much we relaxed so i woke up determined once i had my coffee to get up and get the house cleaned up i wanted to put all of the christmas decorations away so i'm going to be undecorating for christmas organizing toys putting toys where they like new toys away, decluttering, deep cleaning. I'm going to be pulling out my washer and dryer to deep clean under them because I had gotten a new cleaning tool that's pretty amazing that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. So it's also really satisfying. So I hope you will join me for a full day. Like I clean literally all day long. Um, I hope you will join me for eight hours of cleaning. And by the end of this video, I can guarantee you will be motivated to get at least one thing done. So I got really lucky this day because the twins were still sleeping, um, like they were sleeping super late. I think they slept until after 11 a.m. Like how crazy is that? And you're probably going to say, well, what time did they go to bed? They went to bed at 8 p.m. It was so crazy. My husband, Mike, was going to be hanging with the kids all day long because obviously I always talk about how we work as a team. So I was going to be tackling the cleaning and the organizing and the decluttering and putting everything away. And he was on kid duty, hanging with the kids. Um, so it was actually kind of nice that they were sleeping later because Mike and Avery were kind of relaxing upstairs together. And I honestly enjoyed it because I was like, I was, you know, ready to go, ready to get stuff done, and I wanted to be alone. Like, I just didn't want any distractions. I didn't want to be interrupted. So I'm like, you guys, yeah, stay upstairs. Everyone stay upstairs. I was glad the twins were sleeping. Um, so, like, I didn't have to hear them, you know what I mean? Because it's hard to be doing, trying to do other things and hearing your kids. So they were relaxing, and I was just getting stuff done putting things away, throwing out garbage, trying to separate all of the toys into different piles. So the plan was to put one pile where things needed to go, like so downstairs, upstairs, um, and then periodically grabbing Christmas decorations and piling them up so I could put those in the plastic bins to put them away in the storage. Photos caught in the memories and captured in the highlights Just keep on wasting Glass after glass I keep
I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas or holiday. We really, really did. And as you can see um, by the evidence in our house, and I will tell you that all of the toys that you're seeing, they were not all bought by us or from Santa. They actually came from, a lot of them came from extended family who sent them in the mail, dropped them off. Um, we have a big extended family. Um, all of our aunts and uncles, so like my husband and like all of our aunts and uncles buy our kids stuff and then you know our kids have aunts and uncles and um, grandparents and all of that and they donate money to their you know education funds um, they get a lot of books and games and stuff but yes there is a lot our kids are are um, very blessed and they are grateful you guys are new to my channel if you've never seen my videos hello i have three daughters twins that will be two in march and then avery my oldest will be six in april so we are busy life is crazy especially with the twins um we don't really sit down very often and i honestly feel like i'm losing my mind half of the time but it's just the season of life we're in at least that's what i try to remind myself um i'm gonna miss this one day so i'm trying to soak it all up as much as i can even though i'm tired every single day every minute of every day even though i get plenty of sleep um, um, and sometimes I want to lose my mind, but I'm grateful and thankful for our life. I really enjoy creating videos here on my Jamie's Journey channel. A lot of cleaning, organization, decluttering, routines, mom life. I'm very passionate about organizing and decluttering. It's fun for me and I want to be able to make it easier for you. So hopefully I can give you tips and tricks um, in my videos or cleaning tools or cleaning products that will make your life easier. I want you guys to come to my channel and feel like you belong here. Um, I also want you to look and say, okay, well, she's not perfect. Her house isn't perfect. Her house is messy, but that's real life. So I hope I can motivate you, give you guys some sort of inspiration in your daily life. And I just want you to know that I'm here for you. I'm your friend, hopefully help you make your life a little bit easier. I would love to have you guys join my journey and subscribe. Okay, so I had not planned on cleaning my carpets, but coffee had gotten spilled on Christmas morning, thanks to Emery, one of my twins. Um, so Emery had knocked over my coffee, and then I actually had spilled coffee. It was Emery again, um, not too long ago, right by the couch. It was a couple of weeks ago, and I had tried my best to clean it up with some spray cleaner that we have, but it just didn't do the trick. So I figured while I was deep cleaning in that deep cleaning mode, I would bust out my trusty... Bissell carpet cleaner and clean up those spots. So make sure you guys stick around because I got this brand new hand steamer. It's actually a clean steamer. Um, and when I moved my washer and dryer out, there was some really gross messes under there. And this cleaner just literally sprayed it all away. It was amazing. But I will tell you guys, it's crazy removing all of the Christmas decorations because um, our house has really changed a lot in the past couple of months. So we got our kitchen cabinets painted in September. They were dark and they got painted white. We had our fall decorations up and then we got our new gray couch here in December. So our house really has changed a lot um, since I had my like everyday decorations out. So it's just crazy because now I'm pulling out my everyday decorations and I'm like, I don't like these. I want to change it up. So I'm going to change it up. I want to get new, you know, like furniture pieces and stuff. But um, I've said this before and you guys are always so sweet, but decorating all of that is very, um, it takes a lot of energy out of me. Um, it's very exhausting for me. Um, so I just need a breather and then when the new year starts, I'll start devoting some energy to that, but I'm excited to switch things up and get things where I want it to be. But at the same time, I have to be in the right headspace. So 
I'll give it some a few weeks, so hold tight with me, guys. So before the twins went down for their nap, I wanted to get started in the laundry room because their bedroom is right by the laundry room. So I had Mike pull out the washer and the dryer. Um, and actually what sparked this was some laundry had fallen behind the washer and dryer. And when I peeked behind there, I could see how dirty it was. And it made me want to pull out the washer and dryer and clean behind it. And it ended up being perfect timing with my new hand steamer because it had just came in the mail recently. And I was like, I think this might be perfect. Like I was not going to use it for under there because um, I had not planned to. But then I was like, I think this might be perfect. So that's what I ended up using to clean under the washer and dryer. So I'll have this hand steamer linked below. It's basically just a little hand steamer that can be used for cleaning. I have a whole list of different areas in the home um, that I can't wait to try it out and clean with it. And like I said, I had honestly not planned on using this um, because I didn't plan on cleaning under my washer and dryer, but it all just kind of seemed like perfect timing when it arrived. So it was kind of nice because a lot of the stuff under the washer and dryer was really stuck on the tile. And I was just able to use the steam to blow it all away. And it didn't work perfectly. I wasn't able to get everything off of the tile. But I'm like, if the steamer is not going to get stuff off, I don't know what would. There was obviously a lot of rust back here. And it the steamer did get some of the rust off. And it made, made it look a lot better. But it didn't get all of the rust off. So I may have to try a more specific cleaner that is made for rust. But... I had to do very minimal scrubbing, which was great, and it probably cut my cleaning time on the floor in half, if not more. So there were two areas on the grout that the steamer didn't fully clean. So I figured why not try my trusty go-to Resolve Foaming Carpet Cleaner. So I tried that on there. I scrubbed it with my Rubbermaid Power Scrubber and it really didn't make much of a difference. I'm not really surprised because I feel like the steamer would probably clean anything that could come off. Um, so I didn't really notice a difference, maybe a little bit more fading, but nothing crazy. Um, but I thought I'd give it a try because I love my foaming carpet cleaner to clean my grout.
when I was done cleaning under the washer and dryer, I was just going to finish up the laundry room while I was in there. So, you know, I'm um, wiping things down. I was going to vacuum and mop with my e-cloth mop, which I love, and um, also clean the rest of the grout with my steamer. So I want to know from you guys, how did your Christmas go? How did your holiday go? I hope you had a great holiday and it was as normal as a holiday could go in 2020. Are you guys ready for the new year? I don't even think I need to ask because I'm pretty sure everyone is super excited for the new year. I'm just in general ready for a fresh start. I just want to get back to normal a little bit. I've um, been thinking about this a lot lately and I was talking to Mike my husband about this but I find that the twins specifically they're starting to lose it a little bit more in the house so I'm just ready to get more back to normal um, and we also live in Ohio so we it's super cold you guys can see snow on the ground so it's like not that like it's hard to get outside you know and so um, like Avery goes to school four days a week so she's gone four days a week but the twins they're not and you know it's not even just the pandemic necessarily but I mean who wants it's not really ideal to take 20 month old twins out in general to the store like even if it wasn't the pandemic like would we be itching to take three kids including twins who are 20 months to a restaurant or to a store probably not so then you add everything else onto that and it's like well it's just a lot easier if just I go to the store or I pick up groceries or you know we have food delivered or whatever so but then I realize that the twins aren't learning like they don't go out very often or they're not learning the skills of what it's like to like a toddler learns when you go to a restaurant how to act and how to occupy you know entertain yourself so I don't know I'm just ready to get back to normal Maybe you got me believing the magic I'm gonna put my Instagram right here on the screen. I'll also have it linked in the description. You guys can come over and find me over there. I share more about my life, my kids, more of my personal life. So I would love if you guys came over and found me on Instagram. So once I was done with the living room, I was going to go downstairs and clean up the basement. And at first, I was going to have Avery come down and help me. 
because obviously she was one of the three kids who made this mess. But honestly, I started thinking about it and I didn't want her to help me because I wanted to organize all of the new toys and put things back, kind of find a, a new place for everything first. You know what I mean? Like figure out where I wanted everything to go for the first time. And then that way, like moving forward, we know where things go. And it honestly worked out because she was helping Mike with the twins. So when you guys are watching me, it's not like, oh, I'm just cleaning. It's so easy. I mean, Mike was being super dad, like just taking care of the kids, like literally all day um, because all of this stuff needed to be done. I mean, it had been forever since I had vacuum and mopped and organized and cleaned you know what I mean um so he was taking care of the twins and Avery was helping um she was like helping feed them lunch and doing everything and just being a big help and playing with them and so she's always a huge help coloring and painting um and doing activities with them so honestly like even though she's not helping me clean and it just looks like I'm cleaning up her messes like she was being a big help in another way so it kind of worked out for both of us Okay, so these are all of the games and puzzles that Avery got for Christmas, and I was going to organize them, and I had ordered these bags, which I'll show you what I'm talking about if you haven't seen this before, but I realize they are too small, so I don't know if I ordered the wrong ones or if they sent me the wrong ones, so I'm going to have to send those back, but um, so this is what I ended up doing. So this is what I ended up doing recently. You can see these bags um, and then I have the baskets. And so you basically take the board game out of the big bulky box or the puzzles, like these are puzzles. So all of the, our puzzles are in here um, and it just takes up a lot less space. A lot, it's, you know, it's not as bulky, we can fit more in here. And so instead of, you know, using all of that space right here, um, we can basically put them in boxes and then keep them down here. And then the goal or the idea behind it was, okay, so if we have the baskets up here, then when there's like a ton of kids over, you know how they can get pretty messy. I just have to grab, or if the twins come down here, I can just grab these baskets um, and kind of put them up higher or stick them in the bathroom just because I don't want them getting into all of the little pieces. So it just allows you to have so much more space and just an even easier way so like if we're going to visit one of our parents and we want to take the matching game you know we can just take this instead of worrying about taking the box and pieces falling out of the box and all of that so i was going to organize these um but obviously like i said i got the wrong size bags you can see these are pretty pretty big size so i'm gonna have to go ahead and order some new ones um but yeah i'll probably show that in my next video for you guys just so you guys can see how i did that i did have one bag um left over from when i did the rest of these so i'm gonna go ahead i just took just take trouble out of the box
So there's a lot more cleaning I'm going to be cleaning um, next because it was pretty much a whole house clean. Uh, the plan was to clean the girls' bathroom. I was going to clean Avery's room after everyone was done playing in there um, for the morning. And I also wanted to clean the master bedroom and the master bathroom. I just wanted to kind of wipe things down up here. Um, you know, I didn't want to spend a lot of time because I was spending so much time downstairs and in the laundry room, but I did want to clean the girl's bathtub and I recently got these new drill attachments. So they are cleaning tools that you add to your drill and I know it sounds crazy, but I recently used them in my master shower and it was so satisfying, so amazing and such a good cleaner um, that I just wanted to try it out in the girl's bathroom um, and give their tub a really good scrub since I hadn't scrubbed it very well or cleaned it very well in a while. But I will have them linked below if you guys want to check them out. I also have them, I'll also have the video where I cleaned my master shower linked in the description where you can check it out. But we actually took the shower doors off to really give them a good clean and it's, it's pretty amazing. So you definitely need to go check that video out when you're done here. So I was, while well, I was cleaning the rest of the house, like I said, Mike was hanging with the twins and Avery and they were playing a lot and the twins pretty much decimated Avery's room, as you guys can tell. And they've been doing this a lot lately. So if you're not new to my channel, you've seen this happen. The twins love Avery's room. They love it, which I'm sure that's not going to change at all. As they grow older, they're probably always going to love their bigger, their big sister's bedroom. Um, but they made a huge mess in here and Avery had been such a big help all day long that um, while I was cleaning and organizing that I told her I would clean it up for her and make her room look nice. Like I said earlier, she helped feed them lunch. She was coloring and painting with them. They did kinetic sand. Um, so I told her I'd give her room a good cleaning. And if you know, you're know you a mom, you've been a mom, you understand what I'm talking about. It's like sometimes those little things it's like thank you for occupying them or letting me get this done and she's just such a good big sister and so I wanted to take care of her room for her So the vacuum, it started out this way. I'm sure you guys saw it on the video. And then it turned around and then went back over, which is kind of nice. So I got a double vacuum, which her bedroom def def desperately needed. And this is just my favorite part because look how things are just looking cleaner, less cluttered. It feels good to start out the new year like this. All right. Who here has loads of laundry to fold? that they're backed up because of the holidays. Is it just me? Um, and honestly, I haven't even done laundry today yet, so I think I have about two to three loads, which I'll get to later. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna fold this. This is like backed up from the past two days. So I'm gonna fold this and then put it all away.
So once I got all of the laundry folded, I went and put it all away. Um, and I think the difference between Mike and I, so uh, I've said this before and I always just want to make for sure I give him credit because I'll get comments from time to time and people always think that I'm the one doing all of the work and I can assure you I'm not. And even if I am doing most of the cleaning, which he does a lot, a lot. Um, but even if I am doing a lot of the cleaning, like he's always watching the girls, you know what I mean? So, um, but the one difference is um, he will fold the laundry, but then he just lets it sit in the basket or he'll put it in the rooms. So he'll put it in the girls' rooms, but he just sets it on their dresser. And to me, if you're doing the laundry, you put it in the washer, you put it in the dryer, you fold it and you put it all away. It's not, laundry's not done until it's put away. So I like to just get it all put away because I know that if I just set it on the dresser, it's just going to stay there. So I wanted to get everything put away. Um, and then we had recently bought a box of diapers. So I wanted to put those or get them out of the box and put them in the dresser. We've been playing his and I've said this a lot, but I have a lot of new projects, um, organizing and decluttering projects for the new year, and I'm really excited. I always feel like the new year is a fresh start. Um, we always have more time, and I mean, obviously, I think most of the time people have more time right now, um, but just in general, like things just like really fall off after the new year. So more time and energy to put towards cleaning and organizing. But what type of projects are you focusing on in the new year? Like, what do you want to prioritize? What do you want to start out? What do you want to really tackle right away? Um, are there any organizing or decluttering projects specifically? I always find um, that there's almost this renewed sense of motivation in the new year. You know, like fresh start. Um, let's start tackling room by room. So that's my plan. But let me know what you guys are focusing on. But then I was just wiping down the bathroom, um, master bathroom, just doing a quick wipe down with some disinfecting wipes, you know, just trying to go as quick as possible and doing like the bare minimum. Um, I was going to wipe down the toilet and then vacuum. And then that was it for the day. It was a long day, but I'll tell you, I felt so good when the day was done because this was all stuff that needed to be done. You know what I mean? So I felt great. Um, and happy that things were 
put back in place and I'm ready for the new year. I hope you guys are too. Thanks for sticking around and I'll see you guys next week. I'll be resuming my two videos a week next week for the new year. I hope you guys have a happy new year. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you're ready to get your houses back in order for the new year. You are joining me for a super extreme after Christmas clean with me. I'm going to be taking down decorations, deep cleaning, getting stains out of our carpet, as well as a huge giveaway. So let's get ready and let's do this together for the new year. Hey friends, I'm Jamie and I am so, so, so excited for today's video. There's just something about a new year, a fresh start. I am ready to get this Christmas stuff out and get my house back to normal. I hope you had a wonderful holiday. We certainly did and there is evidence of that in today's video. Just a lot of fun, a lot of relaxation and we didn't worry about doing anything over the past couple of days and Today's video was filmed over two days. So the second part that I'm going to show you guys was actually filmed two days before Christmas. I did the whole upstairs, so that would be clean because I knew the downstairs would be a disaster as we lived our Christmas lives and just relaxed. So what you're seeing now was the day after Christmas, the 26th, and then on day two, you'll see me clean the entire upstairs, but we just thoroughly enjoyed our Christmas day. I even took a nap in the evening, just like a little 20 minute cat nap. So much, so much relaxation, so much family time, and we just really enjoyed ourselves. This is what we're working with today. I am so ready, under eye mask and all, to get this house back in order. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Through the camera right now, I'm sending you that motivation because I know your house needs some cleaning. I'm sending you that motivation. Dig down deep, put me on your TV, and let's get our houses back in order for the new year. And then today there's gonna to be a giveaway, three chances to win $100 in PayPal cash. So I'm giving away $300 divided up into three ways. So the, there will be three winners, each getting $100. I will give you all of the details here soon. I'm not gonna make you watch the whole video. I'll give you the details so you can easily enter.
yes, we have a lot of stuff. Um, we still celebrate Christmas with our extended family, like my grandparents, my aunts and uncles, like my cousins. So we have a lot of family. All of our family lives with, for the most part, in Ohio with us. So we get together with everyone and this is just a culmination from everybody, grandparents, cousins, aunts, everything. So what I was doing here was starting out, and this is the most overwhelming part, is just kind of dividing, okay, where does this go? Okay, this goes upstairs, this stays down here in the art cabinet, this goes in the basement, just kind of dividing it all up. Um, but we were dealing with, you know, the toy mess. Um, and then I think I had mentioned earlier that we had blood on our carpet. Part of it was from a bloody nose, dry air, with the twins and then the other one is our poor doggy Reese. she's okay right now um, but I'll give you guys like an update after that but she has had little uh, bleeding spots and so we just had a mess on the carpet as well as some spilled chocolate milk so I was gonna bust out my carpet cleaner to kind of spot clean some of those spots Forgot. We also had a stomach bug go through us um, that caused some messes um, through the kids. So it was just, it was a wonderful Christmas, but it was like bloody nose, stomach bug, dealing with our poor doggy Reese. So it was a lot, but it was all, it's all good. Um, but anyways, I'm one of those people. I like to get the Christmas decorations down the day after Christmas. I could never leave them up any longer. I am one of those people. I want the fresh start on the 26th. Um, so that's what I was doing. I was like so motivated. Mike even got up and took the twins out of the house so I could focus on that. Avery was supposed to help me, um, but you probably saw her sitting over there in the corner on the couch with her Kindle. She was the one who got really hit with a stomach bug and she just still wasn't feeling herself. Um, she was definitely better. And I had planned on really having her help me a ton. And she said she wanted to, but like she just like would look at me when I said, okay, let's get up. And it wasn't that she just didn't want to help me. You know, you can just tell when your kid is not being their self. And she was just tired because she was over the sickness, but she was just so tired. She even took a nap that like this was, she slept in and took a nap in the morning and I could just tell she was tired. So I just told her relax. And I was just kind of enjoying being on my own, getting everything back in order. So like I said, there were some spots in the living room that I wanted to clean up. Um, like I said, Avery had the stomach bug that there were like various messes that I knew I needed to clean up today. Um, Addison, well, both twins had gotten bloody noses. Our air has been really dry here, but specifically Addison, she got two on Christmas day that we almost could not stop. Like it was crazy. So we've put a humidifier in their room. So we've had blood on clothes. We've had blood on the carpet. And then... So our doggy Reese, um, she has some medical issues, but we actually found um, this little spot on her that has been bleeding. We took her to the vet, and I'll, I will explain that to you. I just 
don't want to get too long-winded here. Um, and then we had spilled chocolate milk. Like normally we don't let the girls drink anything but water out here, but it was Christmas morning. We we're just living our best Christmas morning life and chocolate milk got spilled. So I was like, all right, this will be good. I'll get out my Bissell steam shot or steam pro heat pro pet big carpet cleaner and also has the attachment because of course I was like, why well, have this out? Let me like canvas the couch to see if there's any spots I can use the attachment to clean that. And of course, lo and behold, I have no idea what got spilled because we really don't even let the kids eat out here. There was a spot and I don't know what was on there. So I was just using the carpet cleaner to spot clean the blood and the chocolate milk and then whatever random spot was on the chase lounge of our sectional. Okay, so I'll tell you what's been going on with Reese, Reese, we call her Reese or Reese, named after a Reese cup. She is going to be 11 here soon. Um, and also before I get into this, I know a lot of you guys probably are waiting for the giveaway. So I'm going to ask the question. All you have to do is be subscribed, have the notifications turn on and answer a question. I'll give you that question between... Um, I think it was like the 15 to 20 minute mark. So if that's all you care about. You can forward to the 15 minute and then I'll ask it. I just didn't want to make it like a treasure hunt where you have to like watch the whole video. I'll give you the timestamp of when I an answer the question between 15 minute and 20 minute. Um, but anyways, so um, Reese. So she had a spot on, I think it was on her leg a couple years ago. We had it removed. It was non-cancerous, but it was kind of a disaster with surgery. She just did not handle the surgery, the recovery, the cone, all of it well. We were glad we were past that. Well, she has another one and it started to bleed. So we took her to the vet and um, they did, they ran some tests and they're pretty sure it's cancer. Um, they are going to remove it and then they're going to test it to see how aggressive, if they think it's spread. Um, so they're going to test it. So ultimately, she does have cancer. We just don't know how aggressive or um, if it's spread. She's acting totally normal. It's just that spot. We've tried to cover it. The vet gave us different dressings, different things to try. The cone, she just, she messes with it. So luckily, we're home. We've been home. She gets, she has surgery on the 31st and Mike's been off of work. I'm not really doing much and like since we're both home with the girls it's just easier to like pay attention to her and the kids and so we've just been like watching her and I mean she's acting totally fine but yeah that is what's going on so like even after I clean this I'll insert a picture she bled on the carpet a little bit later so it's just something we'll have to deal with and it's okay I'll just keep my carpet cleaner out to keep cleaning those spots but she will have surgery on the 31st and we'll have more details then I will keep you guys updated and try not to think about it try not to think too hard because you never know what you know what's gonna happen but um we're just hoping and praying everything's okay but also trying to prepare ourselves and be realistic she is 11 she's a bigger dog so i don't know i will keep you guys updated and just hope she's okay i'm here with you i think you owe it to this beautiful night to lose all your control do it for you let me show you a place where you go want to move your feet until they start to bleed did you take it So this is one of my favorite organizing hacks. Um, Avery had gotten a few board games and like a card matching game. The, the twins got some puzzles for Christmas. And so my favorite way to organize them is I put them in these, like they're really heavy duty, like a plastic. I don't know if it's plastic, but it's a heavy duty. That's kind of what it feels like plastic zip 
Ziploc bags. I'll have them linked below. They are the 11 by 16 size, um, but I um, unbox all of our board games and put them in the bags and then I store them in a nice basket. And I just find number one, there it's just easier to put in a basket like if we're in the car or if we go somewhere it's just easier to transport things aren't going to spill out um, and even with the puzzles i like it because like the twins love the puzzles and i'll probably throw these here upstairs in some of the baskets but like a puzzle if you don't lay it correctly then the pieces fall out so i like doing it like this um and it's just a nice way to try to keep track of all of those board game pieces and everything but yeah I just get a nice little basket and then they stack in there like vertical if that makes sense like where the zipper parts up at the top and I don't know it saves us space Okay, so I know a lot of you guys are probably here for the giveaway. So let's talk about the giveaway. Like I said, I'm going to be giving away $100 three times. So $300 in total. I'm just going to pull three winners. Um, and it's so easy. And I'm just grateful here at the end of the year. You know, you reflect on the year and I'm just so, so, so grateful for you. And I know I say this community really does mean the world to me. Um, but I mean that. And I take your friendships, your conversations, your comments. I take all of that seriously. I care about what you guys think. You are this community. We are, you know, like you guys can give me some constructive criticism back. You can uplift me. I want to do the same to you. This is a safe space. And I just want to thank you. So this is going to be super, super easy. Um, so I'm going to ask you guys a question here and that's all you have to do is answer the question, be subscribed and have the notification turned on. So those are the three things. Answer the question, be subscribed, have the notification bell turned on so you get notified when I post a video. The notification bell should be next to the subscribe button and you just click on it. Um, and this is open internationally. It's going to go until January um, 1st at 11.59. So I will announce the winner on January 2nd. Um, so, and I do a random comment picker. There's a website that pulls um, all of the comments and spits out a winner. And then I'll just do that three times and that's how I will get the winner. So, um, what is the question? The question is, you know, it's the end of the year where we are reflecting back on 2021. What is something you are most proud of, um, most proud of from the entire year? Um, and I know I've asked this question before, but I just like the positive, like us thinking, digging deep down and finding something we're proud of ourselves for. So I'll give you what I'm most proud of myself for. Um, with social media, and here we are on a social media platform, I think we're all lo a little bit guilty of comparing ourselves. We know we should not, but of course we can't help when those thoughts creep into our mind. And I am proud of myself that the times that I remember those thoughts creeping into my mind when I was like thinking of, why don't I do this? Why don't I look like that? You know, um, I just pushed them out and I decided that I wasn't going to let it bother me. So just an example of you guys know I don't like to cook I don't I don't like to cook at all and sometimes when I'm really busy I really don't want to cook and so I've learned that all that matters with my kids is that they're fed and that they're happy and healthy and so sometimes if I'm really in like not the mood I don't want to cook I've decided I'm not going to force myself to cook because I don't want to do it now I'm not saying I let my kids just not eat but instead maybe I'll just make a grilled cheese and then give them some avocado and some green beans and some applesauce and so like you don't think traditionally or you don't think of like oh a um a grilled cheese as being like um quote unquote meal if that makes sense but you know what it's they're getting you know enough carbs and protein and vegetables and nutrients they're growing and so I'm just like you know what if that's the worst thing that my kids aren't getting like a full home cooked meal every single day 
to be honest with you, I don't know if I really, like, I don't want to say I don't care, but like, my kids are fine, you know? That's just something that I learned that I'm not going to let bother me. I think what I'm trying to say is I'm proud of myself for not feeling that mom guilt all of the time. I think it's just part of being a mom. Mom guilt is real. And, you know, there are some times where maybe I feel guilty for a reason and I can look into that and change some things. But then there's other things that maybe I feel guilty that I'm not home cooking a meal for my kids every single night, but they're fed, they're healthy. And so I'm able to recognize the differences. And when I do feel guilty, I think of, is this, is it worth it? Um, yeah. So I'm proud of myself for recognizing and trying to push out that mom guilt and not feel guilty all of the time. Just tell me what you are most proud of year four. Like I said, um, I will announce on January 2nd because it technically runs through the first. Make sure you have your notifications turned on because what I will do is I will pin the winners and respond to their comments. So make sure you pay attention to your YouTube notifications because I will respond to the winner with my email and say, okay, you know, email me, message me on Instagram, and then we can coordinate, you know, getting your payment and all of that. And then I will officially announce. So it will be at random, three winners, $100 $100 PayPal cash. Good luck. Oh, and all of the details for the giveaway will be in the description if you want to reread them. Um, but it definitely felt good to have everything cleaned and put away throughout this day. Mike had gotten home from running errands. The twins were napping. He was able to watch the Buffalo Bills football game. So he was watching that, keeping up with the laundry as much as possible, folding it. So I just felt like it was one of those days where we we're all kind of like pitching in and doing a little bit to get the house back in order. Avery had gotten a Barbie dream house from Santa. So the Barbie dream house was going to go in her room. She's pretty big into Barbies. And she had a doll house that she just played with her Barbies with previously. And we were going to give that to the twins. So we were moving that to the twins room, putting her Barbie room. And then um, she was going to organize all of her Barbies in her room. So even though, or this was filmed two days before Christmas, I think on the 23rd, and I was just, I knew that the downstairs was going to be a disaster the day after Christmas, and I would have to focus most of my energy there. So I was like, all right, let's do the upstairs. So the upstairs can be clean for the most part um, for Christmas, and that way I could focus on the downstairs during, or the day after Christmas. 
But here, um, our comforter had some blood on it because of Reese, and I was m just mixing up my DIY stain remover that always gets blood out. It's a great stain remover for anything, but especially for blood, um, it's great. So you just, I put some Dawn dish soap on the stain, sprinkle some baking soda, and then some hydrogen peroxide, and it's the hydrogen peroxide that removes and takes out the blood. So I think it was in a recent video I was talking about how messy toddlers can be um, because I would say a majority of the messes are from them and then it's also because we're just so busy like the two of them together it's like a force to be reckoned with like I don't know like I sometimes we're so focused on them that the messes don't get picked up normally um, like I would if they weren't so little and two um but like they do the the twins do help clean up but obviously sometimes it's just like hurting cats trying to get them to clean up it's just easier to do myself um but they do like helping out but it was funny because i was talking about this in a random or a video and someone was like yeah you think toddlers are messy wait till you have teenagers and i start thinking about it and i totally believe it because with the twins I mean, I can control what they bring in the house. I can control, like, make sure they don't, they're, they, I mean, they don't eat in their room. You know, I control where they eat. But, like, a teenager can bring stuff in from outside. They can bring in more junk or stuff. Um, they can eat in their room or whatever. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I feel like you have less control over a teenager. I can totally see the messes. And I'm not looking forward to that at all because, yes, I have the messes now, but I control the messes for the most part. I don't know if that makes sense, but yes, oh, I'm sure it will be another disaster. We'll see if I'm still making YouTube videos and, and I have three teenagers, I, I'll have more messes. It'll probably get better for a little bit as they get a little bit older and then probably get worse again. I will have a JAWS link for you um, in the description. That's what I'm using to clean my bathroom. So JAWS, you can you get it online. And I'm a little biased because their headquarters is in my hometown, which is a total coincidence. You reuse the bottles, you just pop in, you just buy the pods. And I like them. I truly think the only one I don't love and I really don't use on a regular basis is a hardwood cleaner, but I really like all of the other cleaners and they take up less space because you're just buying the pods. I think they're pretty well priced. Um, and so, especially with my 25% off, I have a 25% off coupon. I don't make anything from the sales. Um, so just saying like, it's just something that I talk about. I think they're good, pretty good products. Um, they're non-toxic and they have a very light scent to them. It's not very strong. It's not very overpowering. Sometimes I want that very powerful smell, um, but sometimes I don't. So I will have the link and the coupon code in the description.
So I will say that my favorite way to clean my floors in my bathrooms um, where we have the ceramic towel is using my steam mop. I have a shark steam mop. I've seen that new shark steam mop that like the, the pads almost turn. I think that looks really, really cool. But I was like, Jamie, you don't need it. I want it, but you don't need it. So used the, I have used this on my hardwood floors. Some people say you shouldn't use it on hardwood. I've actually heard that. I checked with our floor manufacturer and they said it was fine. Um, but I like other mopping methods on my hardwood floor better. But for the ceramic towel, I love I like I love the steam mop. It does such a good job. But here on day two, it was a little bit crazy. I had so much laundry I needed to do. I think I did seven loads of laundry in total over this day. Um, we had went to Chicago. I think at this point it had been two weeks ago. And so we had a lot of laundry. And then the kids stayed at both my parents and Mike's parents. They kind of split them up and shared them. And um, we had a lot of laundry from them. And then, you know, our normal day-to-day -day laundry. So we had seven loads of laundry to get done, but it felt good when it was all done. So like I said, this was a few days before Christmas. Um, Avery was a up north in Michigan visiting Mike's sister and my knee. So again, she was supposed to be home to help me clean, um, but she was with family. And I think this is actually where she ended up getting sick because my niece had a stomach bug. So I think this is where she, she ended up getting sick. So um, like her uh, suitcase still needed to be unpacked from when she stayed at my parents. And I don't know, like I was going to have like clean up her room before or when she got home but I knew it was going to be later so I was like I'll just jump in here and do it I was just feeling that need I knew that the house is going to be a disaster over Christmas and so like I just wanted the upstairs to be as clean as possible now obviously we were still living our lives the next couple of days so of course it didn't stay 100% clean but I looked at the family and I was like you guys let's really try to keep this clean and so every night before we went to bed, the twins, because they throw like stuffed animals and blankets out of their beds like every morning. So like every night we would be like, okay, let's throw everything back in your bed. And um, like we all, all five of us made an effort to try to keep things cleaned up as much as possible so I could stay sane because the mess always triggers my anxiety and I just get like, I don't know. Anyways, um, but it just, it felt good to get the whole upstairs clean before Christmas. So here I'm just wiping down the girls' bathroom, nothing too crazy, um, but I was wiping things down with my DIY cleaner that is one part rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol and one part water and about a fingernail size of Dawn dish soap. And I will say the ratios to me aren't that important, like I don't measure it out. I just pour in the water and the rubbing alcohol. It doesn't matter ratios, water or alcohol. Where you want to be careful is with the Dawn because if you put too much then when you spray it and you wipe it's going to be all soapy so you just want to make for sure you don't put in too much Dawn and I again eyeball it for the most part and just do like a little squirt 
Um, but yeah, the alcohol and the water ratios aren't that important. So I was just finishing up the laundry, but don't forget to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is tell me what you're proud of yourself for in 2021. Let me know what you're proud of. I will draw three winners. Good luck. Thank you for being here. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, happy new year. I'll see you guys in 2022 with some organizing videos. That's what I have planned. We are starting out 2022 with some organizing. Still at it. <laughs>